Hi, Joy Taylor in for Christine Leahy again with another edition of Best Thing I Heard This Week. Jeannie Buss let us know how she found out Byron Scott had been fired. As a matter of fact, I didn't know that they were going to let Byron go. I was uh, at a memorial service uh, Sunday night for Gary Shandling, the comedian, and um, so I had powered off my phone. I came out of that around 10 p.m., turned my phone on, and it literally blew up. It was, you know, vibrating with all the messages. I, I, I didn't know that. I was following along in the media, feeling that, that um, you know, they felt that Byron had done a good job. So I, I really didn't anticipate that a change like that was coming. You have a long history as an organization, and we know your relationship with Phil Jackson. Is it possible, as simply eyes and ears and experience and, and acumen, that Phil could come back in any role? Is that possible, yes or no? You know, my brother made it clear that um, he and Mitch didn't need another voice okay. in the front office. And it wasn't really necessarily about Phil. It was that they didn't need any other voice in the front office. Roger Goodell told us his opinion on the impact that Tom Brady's suspension will have on the league. What it is, is it's reinforcing uh, the commissioner's authority and the, the league's authority that we negotiate in our collective bargaining agreement. It also reinforced the underlying facts of the case, the process that we engaged in, uh, the fact that we had a fair process, that, the, that we looked at the facts fairly, including the destruction of evidence, and came to a, a reasonable conclusion. And the, the courts uh, made that clear in the Court of Appeals. Mm -hmm. They made it clear that the district court uh, got it wrong last summer, which we felt from the moment that decision came down. And that's why we appealed it. But we have established that you are an incredibly nimble league. What if a very convincing owner of who you, that, that you respected said, let's lower it to two, it's, it's bad PR, it seems too harsh. Would you listen to it? I listen to everybody and, and try to get take all those, but we've had these discussions. Uh, you know, this, this was an issue just about a year ago. Yeah. Uh, I think right after I left the draft. And, you know, when, when we make these decisions, yeah. it's with a tremendous amount of thought, a tremendous amount of consideration. Uh, our staff work very hard on it. And, uh, and I think that we have uh, given that uh, full consideration. Uh, and we're, we're careful. And this is where you know, the commissioner's authority is important. We don't allow individual clubs to influence an outcome. And entrepreneur Chris Saka talked Uber and some of the other ventures he missed out on. You know, the best products in the world appear simple on their face because all the complexity is embedded in the technology. And so the best products in the world are as easy as, hey, open the app, push a button, a car comes and picks you up and takes you anywhere in the world you want to go. That requires an incredible amount of science. You know, I think of Uber as the largest math problem in the world. If you think about <laughs> the millions of drivers and the millions of atoms it's moving around to move both people and now food and packages around the planet, that's a huge math problem. And Uber is light years ahead of everybody else in the space. Um, listen, I have had friends who have done some angel investing. If you can hit one of 10, you feel great. Have you missed on one big? I've missed on tons big. Uh, you know, I. The Airbnb guys, I was one of the first people to see their pitch where you would rent out another room in somebody's house while they were still there and I pulled them aside and I'm like, this is really dangerous. Somebody's gonna get raped or murdered and the sure. blood's gonna be on your hands. So that cost me probably a billion and a half dollars. Uh, oh my God. I remember telling the Dropbox guys that G Drive, the Google product, was gonna crush them. Uh, the Snapchat guys came up to me here in LA after a talk I gave once and said, we really admire you. We, re we love you and, your, and, and how you do work. We'd love to work with you and I was like, uh, the, the dick pics thing? I don't know. Like, I, and so, and that was it. Uh, that, that cost me billions of dollars there too. So I've, I've, I've had my moments in this business. This has been Best Thing I Heard This Week. Tune in weekdays at noon Eastern on FS1.